Hi, this is Westwog here, and I'm going to show you how to create and display player lives. So what I would do first is I create an attribute, integer, choose, and then call it lives. And I'd put it to three, five, whatever you'd put in a regular game or however many lives and then I create an actor to display on the scene to show how many lives you have graphically and what I would do is I create a behavior replicate click E for expression editor under copies game lives and what this will do will display this picture right here and replicate it across the screen to have remaining copies you had in your life's attribute. So I'll put that there on the scene and see it will replicate it. And what else? You can do other things like with replicate. You can change the direction it goes into and the spacing. So if I want to put it 75 spacing, that will space it out more. See, spaced it out more. And now I'll show you how to subtract lives whenever this actor hits these actors. Okay. Okay, I'll create a rule that whenever overlaps or collides with actor 2 to change attribute game lives to game lives minus 1 so whenever the enemy pl the player collides with an enemy plane it will subtract a life now I'll show you whenever I click preview here and it subtracted a life. And now I'll show you how to display lives numerically. Okay. So what you do is you create another actor and you would display text click expression editor E for expression editor games lives and check then I change it to whatever color I want to display it and then whatever background to display it and I would show it I'd put it on the scene shorten up to and so it subtracted to two whenever it collided with an enemy plane. So that's it. That's how you create and display player lives numerically and graphically. See ya.